Hello. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Is the sun shining there in Portugal? Uh, yeah, I got to go to the beach yesterday I again. Can, I can see a little sun glow entering your space there, Farah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It was like 23 degrees yesterday, I think, when I was out like 3 p.m. Oh, I tough life. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, are you still, Far, are you still rocking the surf? I am, I am. I go out whenever I can and I'm looking forward to going to my next lesson. <sighs> you know who I learn with? I don't know if you remember um, Tanya and Mafalda, who did the music world, well, yeah. they do the music for us, the um, Kirtan and also the cacao ceremonies. Her husband is um, a surf instructor and he also owns a surf school just down the street from Bandit Lake Buddha. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you got to, he was teaching you. Um, well, he has a team of instructors, and so each time I've gone, I've had a different instructor, but it's been really good, and apparently when, you know, you do yoga, you can get on your board, like you have the flexibility, and you have the balance, and I was quite shocked that um, I could get up uh, like <laughs> eight or nine times. I was like, what's going yeah. on? Cause I was just happy to be in the water, you know, yeah, yeah, I yeah. wasn't expecting to get up at all. And um, did you ever get scared for, um, I no, not really because the 
the waves are not as large as like say San Miguel in the Azores. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I was I was teaching yoga at a surf school in Morocco. Oh yeah, that's right. With um With our Brandy. classmate. Yeah, Brandy. Yeah, Brandy. Yeah, she yeah. she was working there at the time or yeah, yeah, for sure. And then I was then we kind of swapped and I started teaching there. But like so it was doing like yoga for surfers. Um but I was so surprised. There's hi Barry. Hi Barry. There she is. I love everyone has their their Zoom face on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thank you. How are you guys? Good. I'm good. I heard about the surfing. Yeah, and you're like, let's go. You, no, yeah. I was like, I so I was telling Farah like I was teaching yoga at a surf school. But, and I was like, oh, I could totally surf. I do yoga. <laughs> like, but like, as you were saying, I was like, I can balance, like, you know. But the problem was the waves were so big, like yeah, so too. big. And like, there was no time. Like, you know, I felt like the minute I fell off the board, I'd get back up and there'd be another wave. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's quite hard. Yeah, and it was like, I was actually a little bit scared. <laughs> you know yeah um, it is scary yeah and I really felt like I was like oh my god like mother nature that sea I'm like all respect I was like I respect the sea and also you know you just realize it's so powerful and like that when I maybe stood up it was a small little victory but watching people I was like I could do that and then I was like oh my god it's like it's serious stuff yeah actually it's it's amazing yeah, uh, Do you surf there? I tried the uh, first time in Portugal. I went to surf camp a uh, few years ago before COVID, and I stayed like 10 days in that camp for the oh. I was a beginner and I learned a bit. And then, then following years, I went to Morocco to yeah. surf again this, uh, with a group of people 10 15 people. We went to uh, all surfers, and I become better there. Uh, but still, I need more. Yeah. But I can pop up, I can go, like, you know, it's uh, yeah, not yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I love how you casually say that I can pop up. <laughs> <laughs> like, for me, I, all of the, my mantra is don't die, Danny, don't no. die. <laughs> In the beginning, oh, I was like, Lord. I'm like, oh my God. And I felt like it was a very humbling experience. You know, yeah, <laughs> it is. actually, there like life experience was it because uh, the my teacher was so good and he was like, and I went there like breaking hard. I just broke up my boyfriend and he was always teaching me that this is a balance. When you fall, is like life. You need to again try, uh, like try to enjoy yeah. the waves. It's scary, but you can control. All he related with the life and. I find a lot of common things and it's that's why maybe I learn a bit quick because I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. I can do it. I want to do it. Just try again, try again. And the balance. And I realize everything's about the balance. Yeah. And you know what, Barry, it's so weird because today, this is so weird. Today's flow is focused, is all about the balance. Oh, ah, yeah, you know? beautiful. But it's almost just because like, and I, exactly what you said, like, and it's not so much about these crazy you know balancing yeah. postures obviously we do them to help but like you said it's finding the balance in your yoga practice you know knowing when you go I gotta push myself or like actually you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna take a child's pose here or you know I like that like it's always like you know it resembles what you do on the mat can it resembles your daily life mm -hmm. you know and it's like exactly. as you said and when finding yeah and finding the balance and all the things we do you know and like I remember one teacher had said to me like you might say do the pose absolutely perfectly you know you look amazing you're in this balancing pose but if your mind is in shambles you know then it's like where's the balance in that you know so it's yeah. like steady mind steady practice you know, steady focus, all this, you know. So that's what we're we're working on today. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I love it. <laughs> Yay. Amazing. Yeah. And like yeah, as you said, it's just sometimes we can, you know, focus so much on 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 our work life 
and then you forget about just you know your normal life or the things that you love to do and it's you know finding the balance in this is is well you know if you're not having fun well then you know there's something missing <laughs> yeah that's true yeah and where in, yeah where in morocco why are you very at the morocco the first we went to uh Ag agadir we stay in agadir mostly okay yes uh-huh and but there is another surf village Tazaku. that's where i was yes but they told us don't go there because there was a like some the the, the water was something and people was sick there all everyone ah, so that explains why i'm i'm mental <laughs> yeah but it's it was a bit like disease there and we yeah. all stay in the there and like then a few days in Marrakesh, but the surf camp was in the Agadir. Yeah, Agadir. yeah. so I was. But actually... I love Portugal more. Portugal was yeah, more. That's the place was love. crazy. I would love. Well, hopefully, you know, I get to go to Portugal soon, and I would love to, to you know, if the universe allows me, and yeah. then um because it's a beautiful, isn't there? Lots of schools in Saga. Is it Sagres or Sagares? In Portugal. Yeah, so is it? It's S A G R E S. Sagres. Sagres. Gracias, Frara. <laughs> I'm like de nada. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eros, what was the name? Um, Eros. Uh, Erosmus. It's near the Porto. Ah, okay. It's, it's Morris. It's Morris. Okay, okay. It's well, written as Maurice, but they, the Portugal people say is Maurice something. Okay, yeah. But where are you from, Barry? I'm from Turkey, but living in Malta. Okay, okay. Wow, I wasn't too sure. Wow, I love it. <laughs> uh, I was in Izmir uh, because we have restrictions now. That's why when I do homework, I can't find anyone because the government doesn't allow to ask come two people only. I did some weird homework. I know I don't know if you see it first. I record my voice, then I listen to my voice and I did it. On the oh, way. Yeah, that's really good. No, but as you said, what's nice is sometimes in these it's difficult like so when you do and the, the you know to explain. Yeah. And I just record my voice and then I did the, the my practice. I was in Turkey, I went to Izmir just because there are a lot of restrictions because I'm a trapeze yoga instructor and now the gyms are closed i can't do it but today i did an outdoor stage sessions once with the private but it's i don't know i'm a bit bored and just i want to back to my work i know especially if you work in trapeze you know i have a killer in my bedroom i can practice um, yeah. i used to do a lot of trapeze in barcelona it's amazing. No? Oh, it's amazing. It's so good. And this is like a meditation. And you got the yoga body with the Lucas? Yes, yes, yes. I got my certificate from him as well. Ah, okay, amazing. No, it's so yeah. funny because it's all connected, no? Or like you yeah. always meet someone that knows someone, it's all linked together, you know? Exactly. And I, I met a lot of nice people in that course. It was online, but yeah no well, that's so nice that's why so you said you know with doing online at least we all get to meet from all over the world <laughs> yeah i'm sure one day in the real time maybe you can yeah Malta. Um, yeah no yeah yeah for sure don't say but i'm sure it will yeah, Definitely, exactly. it's happening. <laughs> it is happening no like absolutely I just and want to portugal it's uh, there is a restrictions because i was checking before turkey to go to portugal uh, but I think I couldn't find the flights from Malta. It's opening now. It's opening. Oh. Yeah, there was um, a big news article. I actually posted it on my my story, and uh, yeah, things are slowly opening. The restaurants are opening, and the gyms and studios are opening, and people are on the beach now, and. Uh, I'm just happy that the Coast Guard's not coming around with the speaker saying everybody go home. That's over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank goodness. I think for yeah. the summer, they're preparing us for the summer. And the summer is going to be more relaxed, probably, because the Malta yeah. also is a very touristic island. And without yeah. tourism, yeah. 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 yes, yeah. that's true. 
Oh, well, we have Nadia here. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hi, Hello. Nadia. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, good. Just taking my lunch break. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look, very productive lunch break. <gasps> Yeah. You know, a cheeky little yoga session. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Where are you joining us from, Nadia? Oh, uh, I'm based in Ireland. Ah, okay, great. Where in Ireland? Uh, so in Navan, it's like a 40 kilometers from Dublin. Well, I know I'm from Bray. <laughs> so that's why I just love you. I love Irish. I'm original from Czech Republic, but yeah, I, yeah exactly. I, you know, that's what I mean. It's the yeah. the, the the mad Irish, so you understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and that's why we, I love when you say now, and I'm like, I know nothing. You know. <laughs> Um, and so, when you're say you're on your lunch break, what do you do, Nadia? I'm a recruiter. Oh wow! Okay, brilliant. Okay, nice. So if you know anyone with a pharmaceutical experience or biotech. <laughs> well, I, I laugh, you know, my world is theater and yoga. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not down with the signs. But if I do know someone, you never know. The world is small. I will, like, I'm the yes. least, you know, me using Zoom, this is the most, you know, scientific I get. <laughs> Sarah will tell you. <laughs> we're both in the same boat we're the artistic crew <laughs> it's all of us we're we're learning about this tech stuff but we're very artsy and diy crafty yeah, that's yeah. our that's our jam yeah, yeah. homemade yes I, I see a few more are joining so i will i will wait like um two more minutes maybe what do you think fire for a few more people um, yeah, always in, in, I'm in Mexico at the moment, Nadia. So when, when you tell people like 1230, that's like, oh, that means quarter to one. <laughs> you know, it's like, like Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanish, Spanish time, super yeah. like, you're like, no one's on time, you know, yeah. and I'm like, German time. I'm like, no, we're there 10 minutes before, <laughs> you know. I just want to make sure, guys, so we're here, that Everybody can see me okay here? Perfect. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. I, hi all. I'm joining. Uh, the, the application is uh, still, you know, I don't know. It's like, uh, can you see me? Because I cannot see you yet. Ah, okay. I can see you perfectly. Oh. <laughs> so don't do anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, no. So I, you cannot see me, can you not? Sorry? Namia, you cannot see us? No, I cannot see you. I'm so sorry. It's like... No, uh, don't be sorry, but what you maybe need to do, check on your computer and maybe you need to like activate the camera so that okay, you can... I I already activated the camera. I can see myself, but it's uh, the app is telling me to wait. And uh, it seems like uh, I'm not on my computer. I'm on my iPhone. You can also maybe... see the class. Uh, it's being streamed right now on Facebook Live. If uh, for some reason the application is not oh. working on your computer All right. or your let's... iPhone. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do that. Um, okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to switch. Okay, see you. See you on the mat. <laughs> yes. Okay. We we shall start. Let's do it. I will oh. say, please, always, um, before we begin, again, always, I am offering suggestions. You know, I'm, I'm your guide, your Irish tour guide. <laughs> but always, if it doesn't feel good, please change, please adapt the practice. You know, like, you know the inside better than me. And like, I'll say it every time, what feels good in my body mightn't feel good in your body. So if you need to take a child's pose, if you have a better vari variation or modification, take it. You know, it's these, I'm offering suggestions. And I had said before um, to Barry this morning, it's kind of all about balance. And it's balance, not just on a physical level, like doing those cool balancing pose, it's balance in the mind. So really practice presence. You know, if you're in the pose and then you're thinking, 
oh God, I've got to go and do this or what am I? There's no, it's missing something, you know? So we do balancing postures to really bring us into this present moment. Also, um, it's again, finding balance in the way when you need to take a child's pose and when you need to push yourself. So really, you know, start to tune into this. Before we begin, make sure your computer is on mute. And at the end, please, if something comes up and you would like to share, this is your yoga family. This is your yoga tribe. So always share and there's no silly questions or anything. Okay, enjoy the practice. It is Tuesday. So yes, start of our week and let's do it. So we shall actually meet standing in the top of our mats. So start with the feet hip distance apart. Bring the arms by your side and allow the eyes to close. And we simply begin by taking an inhale through the nostril and exhale, sigh it out. So really letting something go, allowing us to arrive on our mat. Two more rounds just like this. Inhale together. Exhale, sigh it out. Last time. Inhaling through the nostril. Exhale, sigh it out. And keeping the eyes closed, just take a moment to notice how you stand. See if you can shift the weight into the tops of the feet, the heels, and just finding little movements. So shifting to the right side, to the left side. Noticing little moments of balance. And then find stillness. Pause. Feel the feet connect with the earth. See if you can have the weight even between the right side and the left side. Start to activate the legs. So lifting the kneecaps up. Can you pull the belly button in and soften the shoulders? So already we start with this balance of activating and relaxing. Start to shift your awareness inwards and notice the breath. Notice how it feels to breathe. And if it's comfortable, start to inhale and exhale through the nostril, activating our ujjayi breath. So you'll hear a soft sound at the back of your throat. And here we aim to have the inhales and the exhales of equal length, finding that balance. So bring the hands into prayer in the center of your heart and the chin is slightly tucked. And we'll start our practice with one ohm. Inhale together. eyes open, releasing the arms by your side. From here, as you inhale, just sweep your arms up, look at your thumbs, pull your belly in, and as we exhale, forward fold. So bend your knees, bringing your head towards the knees. Then inhaling to a halfway lift. So hands to shins, look forward. And then exhale, forward fold, relaxing the head and neck. Inhale, press into your feet, sweep your arms up, come back through standing, 
Hands touch, look at your thumbs. And exhale, release the arms by your side. So two more just like this. Have some salutations. Again, inhale, arms up. Look up, belly in. Exhaling forward fold. So bend the knees, head towards the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. So look in front of you, pull your belly in, shoulders back. And exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, press into your feet, sweep your arms up, upward mountain, look up. Exhale, release arms by your side. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Last time, connect the breath with the movement. Inhale, arms up. Look up, strong legs. Exhale, forward fold. Lower belly connects with the thighs. Inhaling, halfway lift. So look in front of you, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, head to knees. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, release the arms by your side, Samasthi. Once again, inhale the arms up. This time, as you exhale, right hand holds the left wrist. So inhale, pull the belly in. And as you exhale, reach up and over to that right side. Shift the weight into the right foot and see if you can just hover that left foot, ooh, little balance, an inch above the mat. So you're pressing into the right foot, flexing that left foot, hovering an inch above the mat, and keep pulling on that left wrist. Inhale, come back to center. And as we exhale, switch. So left hand holds the right wrist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach up and over to the left side. Press into that left foot and hover the right foot an inch above the mat. So you'll feel a deep stretch in the right side of the body, getting into that right hip, and the left leg is strong. Inhale, come back through center. And as you exhale, release your hands. Keep some shoulder distance apart. Inhale, shift the weight onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels up, press the big toes into the earth, and exhale, lower heels back down. Two more times. Inhale, lift the heels, push the balls of the feet into the earth like your high heels are on, and exhale, lower down. Last time. Inhale, press into the balls of the feet, lift the heels up, and pause there. So pull your belly in, and as we exhale, reach the right arm back and the left arm forward, looking over that right shoulder. Inhale, guides us back through center. Exhale, twist. So right arm forward, left arm back, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Last time, exhale, twist. Right arm back. Left arm forward, look over that right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Keep pressing the balls of the feet down, lift the heels. Inhale, center. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Head towards your knees. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant the hands down. Step back to your plank and lower down. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide the heart forward, cobra pose, shoulders back and down. Exhale, shift the weight back, child's pose. Big toes touching knees as wide as the mat. Chin or forehead comes down. And again, think about sending the breath into the hips. And again, this pose, child's pose, is available at any point within the practice. One more breath here, inhale. And then as you exhale, shift the weight forward, find your table top. Shoulders underneath the wrists, knees underneath the hips. Three rounds of cat and cow. 
So inhale, belly drops, open up the chest, gaze towards the ceiling. As we exhale, press the hands into the earth, pull the belly in and like dome behind the heart. Two more, inhale, belly drops, stick the tailbone up, gaze up. Exhale, ramp, pull your belly button in, push the earth away from you. Last time, inhale, belly drops, Open up the chest, gaze up. Exhale, round. Inhale to neutral. Exhale there. From here, a little wrist warm up. So flip your hands, bring your fingertips to face your knees. So the heel of the hand is facing forward. Inhale here. And as you exhale, send the weight back, dropping your hips back. And again, breathing into the wrists. Three, two, and one. Inhale, shift the weight forward. And then as you exhale, flip your hands. This time, bringing the top of your hand onto the mat. Fingertips facing the knees. Inhale here. And exhale, shift the weight back. Breathing into the hips. Three, two and one as you inhale slowly come back through center as you exhale release the hands back table top inhale here as you exhale shift the weight back find your toe stance so you're resting on the heels inhale bring your arms up palms are parallel and as we exhale just start to open and close the hands so again, a little wrist warm up. As we're focusing on balance, maybe we'll be on our hands at some point. Three, two, and one. Exhale, open the arms out to the side and keep opening and closing the hands like you're flicking water away. Three, two, and one, inhale, extend the arms, relax your shoulders, gaze forward and keep opening and closing the wrists, maybe getting a little faster. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, just shake the hands, find your table tuck, tuck the toes and send the hips up and back, Adam Upeshanasana, downward facing dog. So first downward dog of the day, start to pedal out the feet, bending into the right foot, bending into the left. Making any movements that you need to. And for the last two breaths, see if you can find stillness. So pressing the hands into the earth, drawing the heels closer to the floor, pulling the ribs in, and sending the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, look forward, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head towards the knees. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up, look at your thumbs, and then exhale, release arms by your side. So two rounds of Sun Salutations A. Inhale, arms up, look at your thumbs. And as we exhale, we forward fold, drawing the head towards the knees. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, step back, plank, and you can drop the knees if you need to, or lower down to your chaturanga if you feel ready, elbows in. So inhaling to cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhaling hips back, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Again, breathing into the hamstrings. Activating Uddiyana Bandha, so keep drawing the navel in and up. Two and one. Inhale, look forward, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, head to knees. 
Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up, palms touch, look at your thumbs. Exhale, release the arms by your side. So last one, inhale, arms up, upward mountain, belly in, strong legs. Exhale, forward fold, so lead with the sternum, lower belly to your thighs. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back, lowering down to your version of Chaturanga. So always drop the knees if you need to. Again, find the balance. Inhale to Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. From this downward dog, press into the left foot and raise the right leg an inch above the mat. So three-legged down dog. Try to keep the hips square, not opening up that right hip. So have the big toes facing down. Now you can stay here, three deep breaths, or see if you can look in front of you. Press into that right hand and hover that left hand an inch above the mat. So here we're warming up, building strength in the core. Connect with the breath to help with the balance. Two and one. As you exhale, lower the left hand down, lower the right foot, left side. So press into the right foot, lift the left leg up, three-legged down dog. Again, keep the hips facing down, toes towards the earth. And we can stay here or adding on. Press into that left hand, look in front of you and see if you can reach the right arm forward. So a little balancing downward dog. Left hand, right foot is connected to the earth. Pulling the belly in, relaxing the muscles around the face. Two and one. As you exhale, plant the right hand down, plant the left foot down. Inhale, look forward. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head towards your knees. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep your arms up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, release the arms by your side, mountain pose. Inhale, Ukatasana. So bend your knees, squeeze your thighs together, sweep the arms up. Bring the hands into prayer in the center of your heart and pulse. So focus on dropping your tailbone, pulling the belly button up and relax the shoulders down. See if you can keep weight in the heels. So press into the heels and you'll start to feel the heat build in the thighs. From here, shift the weight into the left foot and see if you can hover that right foot an inch above the mat. Maybe a little higher, but keep the hips low. So you're sitting in your chair, pressing that left foot down, lifting that right foot, knee to chest, using your core. Two and one. As you exhale, slowly extend that right leg back just like a slight warrior three. And then as we exhale, plant the right foot down, drop the right knee. So double up your mat if you need to. Inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale, settle in. So keep lifting the belly button up, relaxing the shoulders, breathing into the right hip flexor. Look down, check that left knee is in line with the ankle, in line with the second and third toe. Inhale here, and as we exhale, send the hips back, flex the left foot, Ardha Hanumanasana. So chin towards your chest. Again, we're getting into the hamstrings. So a little movement with breath here. Inhale, send the weight forward, sweep the arms up, belly button up, low lunge. Exhale, hips back, flex the left foot, curl the toes up, chin towards your shin. Two more, inhale, reach forward, low lunge. Exhale, hips back, Ardha Hanumanasana, so half split. Last time, inhale, send the weight forward, pull the belly in, relax the shoulders. 
Exhale, send the hips back. Flex that left foot and pause. So pulling the belly in, you can stay here or a little bit more challenging. Take your right hand and hold the outer edge of that left foot or maybe you just find the calf, the shin. As I'm holding the foot, I pull the belly in, I ground the heel down and see if I can extend that left arm back gazing over the left shoulder. So again, it's a balanced pose, so I need a strong core. I need to connect with my breath for stability. Slowing everything down. Two. And one. As you inhale, slowly release the right hand. Exhale there. Inhale, send the weight forward, low lunge. As you exhale, plant the right hand down, extend the left arm towards the sky. Little easy twist. And with the left arm reaching up, just start to draw little circles with the hand. Again, getting into the wrist. Three, two, opening up that left shoulder. And one. As you exhale, plant the left hand down. Tuck the right foot so you're on the ball of the right foot. Press the hands into the mat and sweep that left leg back. Three-legged down dog. Bend the knee and open up the hip. And you can stay here or with that left knee, just start to draw little half circles. Three. Two. And one, as you exhale, lower the left leg down. Inhale, shift the weight forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, slide the heart forward, thighs off the mat. Exhale, hips back, Adho Mukha. Inhale, look forward, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head towards your knees. Inhale, Ukatasana. So bend the knees, squeeze the thighs together, sweep the arms up, and exhale, hands into prayer in the center of your heart. Stay in your chair. So you know where we're going, left side. Keep dropping the tailbone, pulling the belly button in. Keep the weight in the heels. On our next inhale, shift the weight into the right foot and hover that left foot off the mat. Yes, so sit low, keep the hips low, keep pressing the palms together. Two more breaths here and feel the legs starting to warm up. Two and one. As you exhale, shift the torso forward and the left leg back, a little warrior three, just for one breath. As we exhale, extend the left leg back, drop the left knee down. Double up the mat if you need to. Inhale, sweep your arms up, and exhale, settle in. Three deep breaths. Again, adjust yourself to your knees, making sure that that right knee is in line with the ankle. Keep lifting the belly button, with each exhale, maybe you can sink a little bit deeper, breathing into that left hip flexor. Inhale here, as we exhale, send the hips back, flex that right foot, Ardha Hanumanasana. So three deep breaths here, and again, try not to round the back. Think about your chin towards your shin, like you want to kiss that right big toe. And I'm breathing into the right hamstring, sending the shoulders back and down. Two and one. So a little movement of breath here. Allow the breath to guide. Inhale, shift the way forward, low lunge, arms, fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, send the hips back, flexing that right foot. Three more. Inhale, low lunge. Relax the shoulders. Exhale, hips back. Ardha Hanumanasana. Two more. 
Inhale, shifting the weight forward, sweeping the arms up, maybe going a little bit deeper. Exhale, sending the hips back, grinding that right heel into the earth. Last time, inhale, heart forward, fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, hips back, Ardha Hanumanasana, and pause here. So focus on pulling the belly button in. Now maybe you stay here, great. Always options to add up. Take the left hand, hold your right shin or the right, the right edge, the edge of that right foot. So I'm pulling my belly in, I'm grounding that right heel down, and I'm extending my right arm back as I look over that right shoulder. Really nice. And it's okay if you lose the balance, come back. You're finding that edge, finding the play within the practice. Three, two, one. Inhale, low lunge, Ardha Chandrasana, or Anjanasana. Exhale, easy twist. So plant the left hand down, right arm towards the sky, opening up the chest, getting into the hips. Three deep breaths here, and just start to circle out your wrist, the right wrist. Draw little circles with the hand. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, plant that right hand down. Tuck the left toes, press into the hands, pull the belly in, and lift that right leg back, three-legged down dog. From here, as you exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Staying here, or option just to draw little circles. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, release the right leg down. Inhale, shift the weight forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows in. Inhale, slide the heart forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, drop the knees, release the toes, tabletop. From here, as you inhale, extend the right leg, flex the foot like we're pushing that wall behind us. Keep that right hip down. Option to stay here, or press into that right hand and can you extend that left arm? So pulling the belly button in, the gaze is down, so there's no wrinkles in the back of the neck. One line of energy from the left fingertips to the right heel. Keep pulling the belly button in. Inhale here, exhale here. Now you can stay here or we can go a little bit deeper. See if you can bend that right foot, Open up the left shoulder and find your foot. Yes. So strong core, connect with the breath, slow it down. See if you can press into that left hand, push the right foot into the hand. A little bit more challenging if you want more. See if you can look over the left shoulder. Keep the right arm strong. So I need to spread my fingers and find the push. Keep pressing that right foot, opening up, drawing the belly in. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, release the right foot, release the left hand, one breath here. Inhale, reach forward, press back. And exhale, release left hand down, release right knee. Other side, so inhale, extend the left leg, flex the foot and push the wall away from us. Pulling the belly in, see if you can extend that right arm. So opposite hand to leg, yes. And there's always options to stay here or if the body is asking for more, bend that left foot, open up the right shoulder and find the foot. Again, press that left foot into the hand, opening up the right shoulder, gentle back bend. And maybe I can look over my right shoulder. See if you can find your foot, looking back, press back. Don't collapse in that left wrist. Three, two, and one. 
As you exhale, release the left foot, keep it lifted. Release the fingertips towards the front of the room. One breath, inhale. And as you exhale, release the right hand down. Release the left knee, one round of cat and cow. Inhale, belly drops, open up the chest, gaze up. Exhale, push the earth away from you, drop the tailbone. Inhale to neutral. As you exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Adam Utheshvanasana. Now to get to the top of your mat, I want you to take three donkey kicks. So imagine like your heels want to kick your bum. So just look in front of you, find the play, maybe you find the balance. Little hops, like heels to bum. Yes, so good you guys, I love it, yes. Two, and one. Meeting at the top of your mat, halfway lift, look in front of you. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees, Uttanasana. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up, palms touch, looking up. Exhale, release the arms by your side, Samastiti. Adding on. Inhale, Ukatasana, bend the knees, squeeze the thighs, bring your hands into prayer in the center of your heart. As you inhale, shift the weight onto the left foot, bring the right knee towards your chest. So flexing that right foot, use your core. Two deep breaths here. Really feel that sense of grounding as we lift the right knee up. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, reach up one leg to Tadasana. So right knee is in towards the chest, flexing that foot. Keep the fingertips reaching towards the sky. That standing leg is strong. Find a twist as you exhale. Left hand holds that right knee, gazing over that right shoulder. So keep pulling the belly in. Reach the right arm back. Use that left hand to help you twist a little bit deeper. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back through center. Keep the right leg lifted. And as you exhale, warrior three. So send the right leg back. This time, interlace your fingers behind your back. And as you inhale, open up your chest. So lift your heart. Keep that right foot flexed. Keep pulling your belly in and drop that right hip down. Three, gaze in front of you. Two, and one. As you exhale, release the hands down, standing splits. So keep that right leg lifted. Little soft bend in that left knee if you need it. And again, we can stay here for three deep breaths. Or option to add on, right hand holds the calf, the shin, the ankle. Maybe one hand, or maybe you can find the balance and allow both hands to hold your ankle. The key, keep that right foot pressing into the mat. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, plant the hands down, reach that right leg back, runner's lunge. So the left knee is bent, knee in line with the ankle, and you're on the ball of the right foot. So bring the hands down to the earth and just start to shift the weight back and forth. So again, breathing into the, into the hips, getting into the hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Easy twist. Plant the right hand down, spread the fingers wide, and reach the left arm towards the sky. So again, opening up the chest, sinking the hips down, but pulling the belly in. Two, are you breathing? Can you hear your breath? And one. You can stay here, or as you exhale, shift the weight onto the blade of the right foot. Bring that left foot to meet the right and find side plank. So Vashisthasana, lift the hips up, reach the left fingertips towards the sky, keep flexing the feet, push the earth away from you. 
three, two, and one. As you exhale, plant the right hand down. Find your plank. So good, you guys. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. From here, drop the knees, release the toes, tabletop. This time, bring the knees together. As you inhale, extend the right leg back, flex the foot. Now this time we'll do same hand, same foot. Notice the difference. So press into that left hand. See if you can extend the right arm towards the sky. Yes, not towards the sky, in front of you. Yes. So right leg is pressing back. Right fingertips are reaching forward. Three, two, and one. Staying here, see if you can bend that right foot Find the foot, same hand, right hand, right foot. Press the foot in, so we're opening up the shoulder. Gentle little back bend, really nice, you guys. Three, find your drishti to allow you to feel stable. And one, exhale, release the right hand down, release the right knee, left side. So as you inhale, extend that left leg back, flex the foot. And again, shifting the weight into that right hand, pull the belly in. Can we extend the left arm forward? So again, imagine like somebody is pulling you by your fingers, left fingers, and pulling you by your left ankle. Two. And one. Staying here. Can you bend that left foot? Can you find your foot? Can you press that foot into the hand? Maintaining the balance. And again, this brings us into the here and now. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, release the left foot, release the right, the left hand, find your tabletop. From here, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale through the nostril, and exhale, sigh it out. One more time, let something go. Inhaling together. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, look in front of you. And again, we play with the donkey kicks. So imagine like you want to kick your bum. So look forward, press into the hands, and little hops. Yes, so feel that internal fire working. Three, two, and one. Meeting at the top of our mat, halfway in. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up, palms touch, and exhale, release the arms by your side. Left side, and we know different sides, they tell a different story, and that's okay. Inhale, Ukatasana. So bend the knees, hands in the prayer in the center of your heart. See if you can keep dropping that elbow. As we inhale, shift the weight into the right foot, drawing that left knee in towards the chest. So you're hovering that left foot an inch above the mat, using the core. Feel the right quadricep working. Relax the shoulders. Two and one. As you inhale, straighten that right leg. Keep the left knee bent and arms towards the sky. So let's own one leg to that knee. Yes. Keep pulling the belly button in, sending the shoulders down the back. Inhale here as we exhale, twist. So right hand holds the outer edge of that left knee. Extend the left arm back, pulling the belly button in, gazing over that left shoulder. Three deep breaths here. Three, two, and one. Inhale, guides us back to center. As we exhale, warrior three. So extend the left leg back. Flex the foot, push the wall away from us. This time, reach the fingertips forward. 
Drop the left hip down. Look down. Drop. The, pull the belly button in. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, forward fold, standing splits. Keep the left leg lifted. Drishti, focus on the left big toe. Staying here or again, find a little play. See if you can hold your ankle. Maybe hold the calf, the shin. Little soft bend in the right knee if you need to. Three deep breaths here. Three. Two. And one. As you exhale, plant the hands down. Step that left foot back. So you're on the ball of the left foot. Runner's lunge. Right knee is bent. Hands are on the earth. Framing that right foot. And just start to shift the weight back and forth. And again, those hip flexors, the hips can be so tight. So find a sense of release here. Don't fight with the pose. Two, and a one. Easy twist. Plant that left hand down. Reach the right arm to the sky. Open up the chest as we sink into the hips. Keep a bend in that right knee. Three, two, and one. As we exhale, shift the weight onto the blade of the left foot. Maybe that right foot comes. Side plank, press into that left arm. Reach the right arm towards the sky. Pull in the belly button in. Three, lift the hips higher. Two, and one. As you exhale, plant the right hand down. Find your plank, inhale, one breath. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adam. Dolphin pose. So from here, drop onto your forearms. Spread the fingers wide. See if you can walk the feet a little bit closer towards your torso. Drishti, focus in between your legs. Press the forearms, the fingertips into the earth. And as you inhale, see if you can raise the right leg. Exhale, lower it down. Press into the right foot. See if you can lift that left foot. Exhale, lower it down. Now we can stay here for just two more breaths or have a little play. Maybe you can find a little hop. Yes, really nice, you guys. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, walk the feet back, find your forearm plank. So belly in, spreading the fingers wide, legs are active. Inhale here, and as we exhale, lower belly to the mat, release the toes. Sphinx pose, just three deep breaths. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, gaze forward. So feel like as if you're pulling your chest forward, keep the legs active. Three, two, and one. As we exhale, lower down. This time, bring the arms behind you. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. And if you can, lift, lift the feet off the mat. So looking forward, maybe you lift the arms up, a little Superman pose. Three, so strong back, feel the muscles working. Two, and one. As you exhale, plant the hands down, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale here, as you exhale, walk the hands towards your feet. So hands to the back of your mat. Padam Gustasana. So peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, look in front of you. And as you exhale, forward fold. Elbows out to the side, lower belly to your thighs. Sending the shoulders down the back. Activate the quadriceps to release the hamstrings. Three. 
two, and one. From here, as you inhale, shift the weight onto the left foot and see if you can reach that right leg out to the side. So a little balancing paddle in this Lower the right foot down. Other side, so shifting the weight onto the right foot. Can you lift that left foot an inch above the mat? Opening that left hip to the side. Three, two, and one. Exhale, lower it down. From here, release the hands, and as you inhale, press into the feet, come all the way up to standing. High heels on. Inhale, shift the weight onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels, reach the arms up. Pull the belly in, strong legs. Imagine you have a block in between your thighs and you squeeze it. Squeeze the glutes, look forward. Now, slow it down. Start to walk to the top of your mat, but allow every movement to have intention. Remember, slower, better. Meeting at the top of your mat. Keep the heels lifted. Inhale and exhale, lower down. From here, as you inhale, shift the weight onto the left foot. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. So use your core, flex the foot. Staying here, see if you can bring the sole of the foot to your inner left thigh. If this is too much, you can rest it on your calf never on the knee. So finding tree pose, opening up that right hip, pull the belly in, bring your hands into prayer in the center of your heart, thumbs connect with the heart space and just relax your shoulders. So find a sense of calm and stillness in the pose. And notice where the mind is at. If it's wandering, can you bring it back to this breath, to right here? No option to stay here, or see if you can extend the arms, reaching up, looking up. Keep the standing legs strong and keep pulling the belly button in and up. Three, two, one. As you exhale, release the hands into prayer in the center of your heart. Release the right leg, keep it lifted, and see if you can bring that right ankle above the left knee, figure four. Inhale here, as we exhale, sit a little bit low. So we're gonna find little pulses. Three more, inhale, come back to standing. Exhale, sit a little bit low. Ooh. Inhale, press into that left foot, slowly coming back up. Exhale, sink a little bit low. Last time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sink a bit low and pause. Now keep the hands in prayer. See if you can extend the arms. So you're in your figure four. The hips are low, reaching the fingertips forward. Three. Really nice, you guys. Two. And one. As you inhale, slowly come back to standing. Release that right leg. Send it back, warrior three, just one breath. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold, standing splits. Just one breath. Inhale. As we exhale, so plant the left hand down. Open up that right hip and extend the right arm towards the sky. A little half moon pose. Ooh. Lose your balance, come back. So think opening up the right hip, reaching that right arm towards the sky and flex the foot. So like we're pushing that wall behind us. Three, two, one. As you exhale, plant the right foot down, warrior two. So hips are facing the long edge of the mat. The left knee is bent, pulling the belly in, Drishti at the left fingertips. Three deep breaths here. Check that left knee is in line with the second toe and press the outer edge of that right foot. Three, two, 
and one. As you exhale, reverse your warrior. So slide that right hand down, reach that left arm up and over. Inhale. As we exhale, windmill the hands down, frame that left foot. Step back to your plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to Ordva Mudra. Exhale, Adha Mudra. Inhale, look in front of you. This time, step, hop, or jump the feet around the hands. So find your Malasana, your yogi squat. So bring the forearms in. Press the forearms, open the chest getting into the hips and find length in the spine. Three, two, and one. Now you can stay here for five more deep breaths or we add on, finding the Kasana Crow Pose. So even try, bring the hands down, have them shoulder distance apart. You want to draw the knees into the armpits and instead of looking down, see if you can look forward. Maybe you lift one foot, maybe you lift two. Keep pushing the earth away from you and pulling the belly button in. Three, two, and one. So good, you guys. Exhale, lower back down, Malasana. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Rag doll, holding opposite elbows. One more side, nearly there. Nodding the head, yes. Shaking the head, no. And again, not being attached to anything that happened or perhaps something that didn't happen. Two and one. As we inhale, Press into the feet and just start to roll up. The head being the last thing to arrive. And just send the gaze forward and inhale through the nostril. Exhale, let it go. Left side. So shifting the weight onto the right foot, draw the left knee in towards the chest. And just stay here for a moment to reset. So find that sense of grounding, connect with Uddiyana Banda, turning on the Ujjayi breath if you've lost it. Now keeping that left foot flexed, bring it to your calf or above your knee, tree pose. So press the sole foot to the inner thigh, bring the hands into prayer, relaxing the shoulders down. Now see here, if you can close your eyes, can you slow everything down? And just see if you can, with the eyes closed, watch your inhales, watch your exhales. Two and one. Slowly blinking the eyes open, figure four, releasing that left foot. Flex the foot and draw on that length, left ankle above the right knee. So again, we find these little pulses. So inhale here, exhale, sit a little bit low. Inhale, press into the right foot, slowly coming back up. Exhale, sink a little bit low, breathe into the left hip. Two more, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sink low, dropping the hips. Last time, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sink a little bit low and pause. See if you can reach the arms forward. Where are you looking? Can you press that right big toe into the earth? Keep the left foot flexed to protect the knee. Three, two, one. Inhale, slowly coming back. As we exhale, warrior three. Send the left foot back, torso forward. One breath. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, standing splits. One breath. Inhale, plant the right hand down, walk it a little bit in front of your right foot and slowly, mindfully open up the left hip, flex the foot, Ardha Chandrasana, so half moon, reaching that left arm towards the sky. 
The gaze may be down or up. Imagine there's a wall behind you and lean into that wall. So open the chest, open the hips. Three, two, and one. Warrior two, as you exhale, bend the right knee, send that left foot back. Dristi over the right fingertips, right knee is bent, thigh parallel to the earth. Tucking the tailbone, pulling the lower ribs in. Two more deep breaths here. Inhale. As we exhale, slide that left foot down. Reach the right arm up and over. Reverse your warrior. Keep that right knee bent. Inhale here. As you exhale, windmill the hands. Frame that right foot. Stepping back, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Take an inhale through the nostril. Exhale, sigh out. Last standing pose. Inhale, look forward, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up, upward mountain pose. Exhale, release arms by your side. So from here, coming into dancer, shifting the weight onto the left foot, bend the right knee, find your foot. So you choose the grip, you can find the inside of the foot or the outside, whichever feels better for you. Then as we inhale, extend the left arm up and pause. So really think about pulling your belly in. And instead of going down, think forward and back. So reach up with the left arm. And as we exhale, press that right foot into the right hand. And as you press so much into that right foot, you extend the left arm forward. So reach forward, press back. Standing leg is strong. Really nice, you guys. So keep pressing that right foot opening up the hip, opening up the shoulder. Three, find your dristi. Two, press the left big toe into the earth. And one, exhale, slowly release, release the right side. And taking it straight away on the left side. So shifting the weight onto the left foot, bend that left knee, onto the right foot, sorry. <laughs> Bend the left knee and hold the foot. As you inhale, extend the right arm towards the sky. Pull your belly in. And then as we exhale, we start to kick that left foot into the hand, reaching forward. So again, keep the standing leg strong. Really nice. Nice, Barry. Plant that right foot into the earth. So we need stability for balance. Three. Two. Beautiful, Nadia. And one. As we exhale, slowly come back. Really nice, Barry. Yes. And release. Bring your hands into prayer in the center of your heart. And as you inhale, shift the weight into the balls of the feet, lift the heels. So high heels are on. As we exhale, start to lower down. Sitting down, we'll keep the heels lifted. Keep the legs strong. Stay with your breath and we pause here. So heels are lifted, strong core, strong legs. Three, two, and one. As we exhale, drop the heels down, drop the bum down, find Navasana bow pose. So open up the chest, lift the heart. Three, strong core, Calves are parallel to the earth. Two and one. As you exhale, plant the hands down, plant the feet down, reverse tabletop. So the feet are hip distance apart. And as you inhale, push into the feet, lift the hips up, open the chest, spread the fingers wide. And you can stay here, or if there's no pain in the neck, release the head. 
So pushing into the feet, pushing into the hands, drawing the belly in. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, slowly lower back. The head is the last thing to come back. Supta Baddha Konasana. So bring the soles of the feet together this time. Pinky toes touching. And then open the feet like a book. So peeling the feet open, inhale here. And as we exhale, forward fold. So lead with your torso, don't round your back. Think about chin towards the earth. Use your arms, gently pressing on the inner thighs. And again, we're here for five deep breaths. So release into the pose. When the muscles are relaxed, it allows us to go deeper. And soften the jaw to soften the hips. Two. And one. As you inhale, slowly come back through center. Exhale there. From here, peace fingers around your big toes. Uta Bhishta Kunasana. So this is from our Ashtanga primary series. So shifting the weight onto the sitting bones, see if you can extend the legs. So I'm opening up the chest, finding the balance. Keep the knees bent if you need to. So think about lifting your heart and maybe you can send the gaze up. Energy through the heels, relax the shoulders down the back. And again, feel the sitting bones ground. So what is it telling us? We need to be grounded to find the balance. Three, two, and one. As we inhale, this time draw the legs together. Keep the feet flexed and lift the chest really nicely, guys. Little bend in the knees if we need to. Three, two, and a one. As we exhale, slowly release the feet, a vinyasa to wash it away. So cross at the shins. As you inhale, shift the weight forward, find your plank. As you lower down, chaturanga, exhaling. Inhaling to Urdhva Mudra. Exhaling, Adha Mudra. From here, one of our final poses, drop the knees, release the toes, setting up for Sheer Shasana, the king of asanas, headstand. So use a wall if you need to, but begin by setting your foundation, interlacing the fingers, making sure that the elbows are no wider than your shoulders bringing the crown of the head to the floor, anywhere past the hairline. So from here, tuck the toes and walk the feet as close to the torso as possible. Pause, pressing into the forearms. See if you can bend one knee, Ooh. bend the other. Squeeze the thighs together and maybe you stay here or slowly with control, can you extend the legs? So find your version of headstand. Beautiful. So bury your elbows are too wide. You need to bring the elbows in. So make sure they're in line with your shoulders. Beautiful, Naima. Keep pressing the forearms down, activating. So yes, bury elbows in, in line with your shoulders. Yes, slow it down. Bring the knees into your chest first. Each time building up longer and longer holes. Beautiful, Naima. Yes, find the play. Enjoy it. Five more deep breaths here. Four. Three. Two. And one, everybody exhaling lower down, meeting in Balasana child's pose. So big toes touch, knees as wide as the mat. Forehead, chin is connected with the earth. 
And again, take a long sigh here. So letting go. And then just staying in your child's pose. As you inhale, walk the hands to the right corner of your mat. So feel the side stretch. So hands to the right corner. Really think about pressing that left hip down. Keep the hips down. Yes. Now you can stay here or you can plant that left hand on top of the right. Pressing, breathing, releasing. Three. Two. And one. As you exhale, slowly releasing and walking the hands to the left corner of the mat. So again, just breathing into the side body. And there's always an option. You can place that right hand on top. So really pressing, grounding the hands into the earth. Breathing into the side body, releasing the hips. Three. Two. And one. As you inhale, slowly walk the hands back through center. Exhale there. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Find your plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, slide the heart forward. Upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Step, hop, or jump through to a seated position. As you exhale, plant the soles of the feet down and just begin to lower down. Keep the knees facing up. One round of bridge pose. So bring the heels closer to the sitting bones. See if you can graze your heels. Press into the feet, lift the hips up and interlace the fingers. So ground the shoulders down. Grind the feet down. Five deep breaths here. Four. Three. Two. And one. As you exhale, slowly lower down, releasing the sitting bones to the earth. Extend the left leg and draw the right knee towards the chest. So pulling that right knee towards your armpit. Keep the left foot flexed. Three deep breaths here. And again, send the breath into the right hip. Keep the shoulders grounded. Two. And one. Little twist. So allow that left hand to guide that right knee over to the left side as you look over your right shoulder. So supine twist. Plant that right shoulder down. Breathe into the twist. Pull the belly in. Two. And one. As you inhale, slowly come back through center. Squeeze that right knee towards the chest. As you exhale, release. The left side, so inhale, draw the left knee in. Squeeze it tight. Draw it towards the armpit rather than the center of the chest. So keep pulling it in. Keep that right foot flexed. And from here, we take a twist. So allow the right hand to guide that left knee over. Keep the shoulders grounded, looking over the left shoulder. Or it can be nice just to simply close the eyes here. Two. And one. As you inhale, use the core slowly coming back through center. This time, squeeze both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. 
Maybe rocking side to side to massage the lower back. And then from here, find happy baby. So holding the outer edges of the feet, draw the knees in towards the armpit. So the sole of the feet are facing towards the sky. Relax the shoulders down. Keep a bend in the knees. Maybe you can straighten one leg or the other. Finding any movements that you need. So listen to the wisdom of your body. It will tell you. And then slowly, mindfully, just release the hands and bring the soles of the feet together and the knees are out wide. So bring the feet down, the feet are on the mat, knees out wide. So a supta badukanasana. And place one hand on your belly and one hand on the heart. And you don't have to control the breath here. Just noticing the rise and the fall. And simply observe any differences in the mind, in the body. Then we started. And knowing that we use these tools, we use this asana practice to give us stillness in the mind. You need to find that balance and knowing that you can't be considered successful on the mat if the mind is in shambles. Take an inhale through the nostril and exhale, let it go. You can stay here or find your Shavasana while extending the legs, keeping them as wide as the mat and the palms facing the sky. So this is a sense of openness, readiness for your day, for the rest of your week. So simply allow the body, the mind to do nothing, to be here right now, simply be. There is no rush, but if you feel ready, just start to invite small little movements back into the body. Wiggling toes, fingers,
allowing the head to move side to side. And with the eyes remaining closed, just gently rolling over to the right side. and keeping the eyes closed. Just press yourself back to a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. Bring the hands into prayer in the center of your heart. And the chin is slightly tucked. Just bring the thumbs to the space between the eyebrows. May we have peace in our thoughts. Bring the thumbs to the lips. May we have peace in our words. Bring the thumbs to the heart center. May we have peace in our heart. Sealing the practice with one ohm. Inhale together. Oh. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you, yogis. Thank you so much. I hope everybody, you know, is feeling good and always, you know, if you want to share anything or something that came up or anything, by all means, you know, say hello or, you know, say anything that we wish, even non-yoga related, I always say, you know, but thank you so much for your practice. Thank and you, Danny. That was beautiful. No, thank you, Farah. And for me, the hardest part always is getting on the mat. No, and it's, when you show up, you're like, okay, whatever happens, but I've made it. You know, it's just, that's the hard part. It's just like, okay, even like, you know, Nadia, you're, you're, you're doing it on your lunch break and, and finding those moments of, I got to make it to my mat. And even if you do one sun salutation, you know, that is that taking that little moment for yourself, you know? So thank you guys. How are we doing? It was amazing. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> I, good. Nice. I love it. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. You know, and it's so nice. And I know it's not the same through a screen or, but as you said, you know, we're living in exceptional times that make us do exceptional things. <laughs> no. And it's like, okay, we make it work. So it's so beautiful to, to share the practice with you guys. And, and thank you. <laughs> thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, hopefully um, next, um, next Tuesday, maybe I see some of you and it will be for Ashtanga. So we alternate. And it's, a, you know, it's so nice to different practices, you know. Ashtanga is very different to like a vinyasa flow and each have their benefits you know, but it's important to, to try both and see what works for you, you know? So thank you guys. Happy Tuesday. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Have a beautiful day. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Hopefully Bye. See you soon. Bye. Big love. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you next Bye. week. Same time. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Bye.